Max Holden, that was a tough day for Middlesex. Uh, Mohamed Abbas with an incredible spell of bowling, six wickets. Yeah, it was tough, Kev. Um, you know, a lot of disappointment and uh, a lot of gutted guys in that dressing room at the moment. You know, we felt the bowlers putting a lot of effort on that on that first day. On you know, it was a pretty decent cricket wicket. The bowlers told hard and um, restricted Hampshire and controlled the runway all day. So the batters, it was batters' time to step up today. And you know, no excuses. We didn't deliver. You know, Mohamed Abbas, obviously a world class bowler. Um, but as far as we're concerned, there's no excuses for getting bowled out for 79 on that wicket. Um, you know, he bowled up the top opening spell, but it's a shame we couldn't back the bowlers up. And um, I can also say, as you know, 15 very, very disappointed people in that dressing room, and we're looking to you know stick together and get through these tough times and, and, and come out the other side. But um, no excuses from where we're sta st standing now. Um, we're in this position. We got ourselves into it, and it's it's our time to now fight as hard as we can. And stick together um, and push through these real difficult times because um, yeah, like you said, the, it was, the work was done on day one from the bowlers and the batters didn't stay up today, which is very disappointing. It was an incredible spell of bowling though, just to talk about a bass first. Uh, six maidens, six for 11 from his 11 overs. Uh, I mean, watching from far, it was sensational. Yeah, he's world class. You know, we knew that coming into the game in, you know, in early season English conditions. He's obviously a master um, at bowling. You know, he's, he's done it all around the world for a number of years in international cricket now. So it's a lot of respect to him. And he bowled a you know a top opening spell and, and sort of ripped through our top of order there, which was you know, very disappointing. And him and Abbott obviously a, you know a top opening attack. But you know, the same by the same time, saying that you know the batters just stand up there. You know, at least one of us get through that little tough period, which is you know disappointing. We couldn't do that, but. Um, you know, we spoke a lot before the game about you know, how to play these guys and we, we couldn't quite deliver um, and uh, yeah, that's disappointing. You say get through a tough time, is that on the back of Somerset as well? Yeah, of course, you know, there was again a lot of hurt in the dressing room after that game, you know, the first two days we, we completely dominated that match and you know, set ourselves up perfectly for, for that win and that early early on day three cost us again um, and had that, had that collapse and then uh, didn't quite go for us with the ball as well, so there's been yeah, a, a, a tough little period for us, um, but I think we've done you know, so much work as a group on you know in the, in the environment and you know our skills work over the winter and it's about drawing on that now um, and just because we had you know some tough times it's not about forgetting about this all the work we put in before to, to get in this position and of course there's a lot of hurt at the moment and you know it's, it's very frustrating because I felt you know pre-season we're in a, in a good place as a batting unit and there's a good place as a side which is which makes it all the more frustrating when, we, when things don't quite go away to start with but um, you know we're a close-knit dressing room and it's about sticking together now and no guys putting their hand up when the when the pressure comes and, and, and it's time time to deliver now. The pressure's going to come in the second innings. There's still two days of this game to go. There's still a game of cricket to be fought, whether it's for a draw um, to save the game. That's what Middlesex will obviously be trying to do and put up a performance at least in that second innings before the Surrey match. Yeah, absolutely. We've got to keep fighting and, and sticking together, like I said, you know, with it, whether it's with the ball, you know, first thing tomorrow, we're out there as a group, all 11 of us stuck, stuck in, sticking together. You know, we like we said, we've done a lot of work on the, on the culture and the environment we want to create as a team and have that close knit atmosphere and you know it's times like this where it's tested and we've got to make sure we do sit together and keep fighting for the rest of this game and, and when the batters get the chance again, you know, obviously, you know, Bass and Abbott are gonna be coming at us hard again. So it's you know it's a chance for you know a few of us to stand up and, and be counted and uh, re-deliver really when it matters. So that's what we'll be looking to do. Thanks for your time. No